Hi guys, so it's breakfast time here in our house. I am going to have two bananas, some raisins, a little bit of cinnamon, and still almond milk uh, vanilla yogurt. These are my new favorites. I think I already told you that, but they're really good. So if you haven't tried them, you should definitely give them a try. Luis looks like he's making sandwiches with avocado, yum. And using the hummer buns that we had. Two, we got two left. Just two. Just two. Daddy's oh, gonna eat them and with, all mine. with chow cheese. And this is really good. If you guys haven't tried these and you have a Kroger near you, they're really, really, really good. This is like my new favorite uh, lunch meat. Way better than tofurkey, actually. And of course, you can't live life without avocado. Who are you if you don't like avocado? Come on now. Come Enjoy on, it. come on, come on. Try it again. Anyway. <laughs> actually, you know what would be really good in this? I'm gonna add a little drizzle of sunflower seed butter. But this hasn't been opened yet, I don't think. Nope, so I gotta, gotta get the lid off, which is always, seems to be a challenge. So I'm just gonna use a knife to get it off. So much easier. Here comes the Logie Bear. Come say hi, Logan. Right no, to the, to the broccoli bites. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Just trying to eat the reason. Hi, honey bun bun. Can you towels again, daddy? Logan, draw, um, dryer please. Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, where is it? On the table. Ooh, this stuff is so good. Delicioso. So good. Gosh. I haven't had this in a long time. I haven't never had it in yogurt either. I bet you it's going to be delicious. Anyway. Well, I guess I should try it for you, huh? <laughs> I was about to say, anyway, I'm going to go eat, but let's give it a taste. Get a little bit of raisin, banana, some yogurt. Flour. Oh, that was great. I dropped it. Let's try this again without dropping food onto my tripod, if at all possible. <sighs> Tasty. Hey y'all, I'm back and it's dinner time. <laughs> Luis and I ran errands today. We basically just went to the bank and then went and got groceries and then we would just watch TV all day. So we really haven't been doing anything. So sorry you're just here for the food basically because we haven't really done much else. Figured since we're making tacos but I'm making it a little bit different than we normally make it. Um, I'll show you how I'm doing it. All right, so if you'd like to see my taco rice. If you'd like to see Gary is watching me. <laughs> it feels weird that he's standing here watching me while I'm trying to talk to you guys. <laughs> he's starving, yes. And thank you for coming in here actually because you just reminded me that we're gonna have crispy tenders with our tacos, which I totally almost forgot about. So, yeah, we're gonna have crispy tender tacos, Gardein crispy tender tacos. And I'm gonna make taco rice to go with it and of course refried beans so anyway here we go these are the things i'm gonna use our favorite beans i'm gonna use some rice corn tomatoes mild taco seasoning and probably like garlic powder onion powder etc
Well, what, what do you think? It's good. I know Gary's a little bit happier if it was only beans. Oh, but wow. Yeah, and crispy tenders. Too bad. You're having taco rice today. It's good. Good. <laughs> Luis just discovered that he has a weenus. <laughs> Where is it? Show them. Don't pinch it though, just show them. Like point at it. It's right here. There it is. Skin on your... I didn't have one. Like, Logan didn't something. know either. Hmm? Oh, were you the one that didn't know? Yeah, no. you didn't know. No, I knew. Then how come you acted like you didn't know? Mm. He didn't know. Yeah, he didn't know. We both know. You said what? Kids used to say it at, at a school. Huh? A lot. Kids say it at school? Of course they do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the skin on your elbow. If you didn't know, it's the skin on your elbow. <laughs> anyway. Baby long is being it smashed was funny, elbow. but you missed it. <laughs> what? Daddy, wave. What are we watching? Baby long stockings. <laughs> Whose choice was that? Yours. No. Technically mine. Yours, technically. <laughs> and Daddy over there is dying whenever a song comes on. Yet he's tapping his feet and not and nodding his head along with the song. Mm-hmm. A lot. Pretending like he doesn't like the movie, but yet somehow he's seen it <laughs> enough times with me to know some of the music. So. What do we do now? I love this movie. Mm -hmm. Classic. We just heard a noise in the pantry. Gary needs to go investigate. Oh, I don't know. He's not gonna do that. No. <laughs> Hopefully, it was just one of the cats, hopefully. Well, there's Lenny, we know it wasn't her. Simich is obviously not there. Simich was Trico Hunter. Oh. Yeah, Simich is Hunter. Well, then go investigate. And the door's closed, so how are you doing? Well, you're on your own. Good luck. Logan, go get me. Logan, go get me a gun. Go get me my Nerf gun. Well, what, what, what is that going to do? Yeah, what's that going to do against a ghost? <laughs> Scared away? Yeah, that's really cool. 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 Go open the door. FBI, open up! Yeah, we're good here. You guys! I just remembered to tell you because Gary and him going in the pantry reminded me. I'm so mad! I went. We went to the store today and I... I've been telling you guys I've been trying to like buy gluten-free stuff, right? So I buy a package, a big old package of gluten-free flour, come home, and for some reason I, I don't know why, what was I doing? Think, think, think. Well, I decided to look at the ingredients to see if it had xanthan gum already included in the mix because I can't move. you need that for some reason. I don't know why, <laughs> for gluten-free. Baking, you add xanthan gum to your mixes, I guess. I don't know what it does, but anyway. Who knew that flour of any kind would have milk powder in it? So I didn't check the ingredients at the store, so now I'm mad because I have to go take it back, and I don't want to go back to Walmart tomorrow again and stand in line or do whatever. I don't, I've never ever taken a return back to Walmart before, so now I have to figure out how to. No, never. So now I have to figure out how to do a return. And it's not like a regular Walmart. I know how to do a return at a regular Walmart, but it's the Walmart market. So I guess I have to go in there and ask them how I can do a return. So I'm annoyed. <laughs> really annoyed because I don't know any... I don't... Well, obviously we're social distancing anyway, but my neighbor, whatever, is not gluten-free. The one that lives here is not gluten-free, so... I'm not gonna offer her the flour because I know she's probably not gonna want it. So anyway, make sure you check your ingredients all the time because you never know when they're gonna sneak some stupid milk powder into something. Anyway, sorry the TV's so loud. Just wanted to have a little rant. Oh, Lord, my soul to keep. Described his mother Mary as bossy and overbearing, and with that being said. Gary witnessed more than one violent argument between his parents. Throughout Gary's childhood, he struggled with wetting the bed, which continued into his teenage years. He even wet the bed as late as 13 years old. And as a child, every time he wet the bed, his mother made him take a bath. And she would often clean his genitals, which would often arouse him sexually. And this earned him constant belittlement and embarrassment from his mother.